straight into the next video I've just finished filming my Black Friday fairly luxury brand designer brand haul and now I'm gonna get stuck into the more affordable uh, haul look because I got in quite a lot actually this oh, I've just thought of more things that I haven't brought out here all right God, I've got in so many things lately heading into a new season we're going into summer I'm so excited the weather is going to be 40 degrees today uh, so I'm gonna rush through this one and stop filming before I'm sweating because I think it's gonna be really gross soon but let's get going with this haul in this one I have lioness dresses I have princess Polly I have the iconic and Uniqlo and a few more things so let's go first of all I got um, a few dresses lately from lioness this one is a white shirt dress in a mini size that's basically been tailored through the waist to have a really cute waist and then it has elongated cuffs with a little extra detail on the side. Um, I'm just going to add some photos of me wearing this one up here because I do need to alter it. It's a tiny bit tight across the waist on me. I probably could have sized up on this one but then it's very generous through the bust on me as well. I have small bust. What can I say? <laughs> um, so I'm going to get this one altered when I, fingers crossed, go back home to Adelaide for Christmas. My mum is a dressmaker and alterations lady, so I basically end up bringing anything that hasn't quite fit me. Every time I go visit, I just bring a pile of things and she tailors them for me. She's amazing. I'm so grateful. Um, and this one has got a lot of extra fabric in the waist there for me to let that out. So I'm going to video, uh, cut to photo to show you how this looks on. I love it. It's amazing. Um, it's one that I can style up so different ways. I love layering it. It's a good like base for underneath blazers and um, jumpers, knitwear and just to have that elongated cuff poking out and the cute little mini skirt part. Oh, it's so cool. It's cool with boots or with um, a more casual shoe as well. So I do all this one from Lioness and I got this one in an extra small. So a bit of an oversized bust area, uh, but then quite fitted on the waist. I'd say that was probably pretty true to size across the waist. Um, and it's quite a mini length too. Fine for my height, but borderline. <laughs> so if you are in doubt, probably size up and have to alter down or there's plenty of room in here to take it out if you need to, if it's too tight um, through the waist, which is what I'm doing. I totally have a pale blue theme going through this whole thing. It's like navy, blue, black, white, and beige. But maybe that's my spring summer palette. Well, spring has now ended, but the weather for spring only just felt like it just started. So, yeah. Anyway, the lioness dress number two is one of this um, fitted styles that you've probably seen on everybody. Everybody's wearing these. They come in sleeveless ones or long sleeved ones. I just love this dusty blue color. So I went with one of these. I think it's going to be one that I can wear with my um, boots or with heels or just kind of wear it casually um, through maybe the cooler days, not the hot days. <laughs> so I might not be wearing this one until autumn. I wasn't entirely sold on this because it's a bodycon style. I wasn't entirely sold on whether it suits me but I feel like it might potentially just be because it's such a different style for me. I usually don't wear anything bodycon and I am conscious that um, I have a smaller bust but then I am quite curvy through my hips. So I, it looks amazing on some girls who have like that even um, proportions with a bigger bust, smaller waist and then um, the bigger hips. But I feel like I am compa I'm basically comparing myself to other people and thinking that I don't know if it suits me. Um, 
comparison is such a thief of joy. <laughs> so I don't know, I've just got to work out the way that I feel comfortable wearing it because I really love this dress. So um, just got to get on with it and get confident. <laughs> But they are so cool if you've been thinking about these dresses. I think they're really good. Um, they're not, uh, they do have some synthetics in them because I prefer to have non, I have prefer to have natural fibers in my house. So I really did make an exception with this one, which I, I mean, I obviously, I'm not happy about, but I did it and I picked it out and bought it myself. So it was a conscious choice and um, yeah, we'll see how much wear I end up getting out of it. So it's a viscose nylon blend. I, I find it really comfortable. Probably not the best thing ever, but, um, I love it in, there's a brown color, a sage green, and then there's black and so many other colors, purple, yellow, but I loved the blue color. So that one I also got in an extra small and I'm not going to show you a video of that one either. I'm just going to show you photos because um, it's way too hot for me to try that one on and film for you today. So speaking of the Iconic, which is where I ordered that one from, this is a linen dress from a brand that's exclusive to the Iconic that I think just started last year. Um, and the brand is Air, so A-E-R-E. -E. They make organic cotton pieces and they make linen pieces and I've been really taken with their linen dresses. And so far, the only one I've been able to order that I wanted on my wish list is this one. And so it is a backless, long maxi dress with long sleeves. Um, it ties up at the back here. Again, I'm gonna include photos because it's way too hot for me to put this one on today. <laughs> Already I was filming a bunch before and it just got so hot that I was like, no, I'm not going to film any more of these. You can see photos instead. It's a stunning dress. It's got a really thick waistband. I went with a size 8 from this one because a friend of mine had this one already and she was my size and she said, look, the extra small fits me but the waistband is super tight and if I eat a meal I'm going to feel uncomfortable. And I really just wanted this to be a cruisy dress that I didn't have to worry about that problem at all. I probably will wear this all year round being long sleeved and full length. It's lined as well so that's what makes it quite heavy and thick for a hot day. Otherwise it'd be great um, being linen it's a breathable fabric. And this one is I think it's 139 I bought it on sale um, when they had a 30% off sale code so I got a little bit cheaper. Uh, yeah, they're, these dresses that they make, and they have some stunning like shorts and pants and tops, uh, all in linen as well, as well as some organic cotton pieces. They're all selling out really, really fast. So I'm waiting for all of my other ones that I want to, am wanting to order to restock in my size. Um, basically, I think of them as being super incredible quality dresses at a really affordable price which I will be able to dress up for events or just wear through um, the summer months and feel really comfortable, really confident and not feel like I'm wearing something and then have to take the dry cleaner or um, worry that uh, it's too fancy or something like that and you know day to day I don't need to be wearing silk dresses all the time. I'd rather sort of save those ones for those special occasions and have something as an in-between uh, like this and like some of their others. So I have a few more on my wish list. Fingers crossed they come back in my size. I've been checking it like every single day um, just in case because it's now getting hot and I really just want to be wearing comfy dresses all the time instead of my jeans. So stay tuned. But that one is stunning. Okay, quickly, not summary at all, but I was shopping with Mario for Christmas stuff and for new work stuff because he got a new job at Uniqlo and they had these Inez de la Fresange. I don't know how to pronounce anything in French. Sucks. But they had her um, collection on sale, so I got these two cotton knits for $19.95. 
um, they've got a nice waistband there and on the shoulder, uh, on the sleeve as well there's a bit of a bell sleeve, tiny bit going on, $20 and they are so gorgeous, I had to get one in the beige and in the navy, I've been wearing them every morning when it's like still chilly, uh, ever since I got them, <laughs> they're perfect, so if you can manage to snap up some of those at Uniqlo, do it, I think I might have photos or a video to shoot to show you but again it was too hot for me to film um, wearing these before but damn they're amazing I am obsessed okay let's get on to Princess Polly so I did a Princess Polly um, Black Friday sale edit on my blog inspiringwit.com um, there were so many good pieces and the original thing that had brought me to their website was this bucket hat. I bought a bucket hat on the Iconic when I ordered this other order and it was from a New Zealand brand called Mato maybe? Uh, and unfortunately the hat was too big for me. I was so disappointed because I'd wanted it for ages. Turns out it was way too big. Um, essentially I just wanted a simple bucket hat in a minimal black white or like a gingham print that I can wear through the summer months and I can wear it with my um, dresses and jeans and shorts and all that kind of stuff um, and down to the beach and not feel like too scruffy I wanted something that looks cool still um, but like could potentially look elegant it needs ironing this bit is creasing I think the back actually looks like it's sitting better. So it should end up sitting a bit like this once I've ironed it. Um, I love this one. I think it was only about $20. The other one that I bought was also cotton and it was like $100 something. dollars. So it kind of worked out in my favour to return that one and to buy this instead from Princess Polly. So I think they had a few of these. But it's just cool. The raw edge is really fun very very practical but cool hat um, again with lioness <laughs> I'd seen this dress at the same time as I'd seen the other white shirt dress and decided at the time to go with the white shirt dress and put this one on the back burner because I wasn't sure if I'd like the first one and I thought I'd get the other one later if I did which I did so I went with this one now it is a very big <laughs> oversized denim like blazer dress jacket essentially you can wear it as a dress or you can wear it as a jacket and um, it's got I've got this one in a size small so I went up to the larger size mostly because that's what the model was wearing in the um, photos online and I liked the fit of that oversized but then it has a belt to tie it in at the waist the only trouble is it has three buttons down the front and then basically there's nothing to hold the front join down so as you walk it just kind of like opens up and you see everything underneath so I think I'm gonna have to try and fashion some sort of press stud down the bottom to make it a little bit more modest because uh, it shows a lot and I mean I can wear bike shorts under it or something, but then I'd have to go and buy bike shorts. <laughs> I'm sure most people just wear bike shorts underneath. So uh, I haven't yet ironed this one. I've cut some footage of me wearing it a few different ways. I love it. I love it with the um, heels and just to wear it as a dress. I love it, the idea of just having it as an over relaxed denim jacket in a big size with it with pants or with um, kind of matching like wide leg jeans that I was wearing in that video um, yeah it's so soft it's 100% cotton as well I loved this one the color is great again it's big so if you I can probably have sized down um, to the extra small but I'm pretty happy with the fit okay I. <laughs> I don't even, I didn't even really need this, but it is a Princess Polly 
100% cotton t-shirt from their like sporty athletic range. Uh, I've never been skiing in my life. I grew up ice skating um, and I still ice skate whenever I get time, which is like never, but I love it. Um, but yeah, maybe it's the irony of going into summer, <laughs> knowing that I'm definitely not going to be hitting the slopes or seeing s snow anywhere. But um, I just thought it was really cute and yeah, I had to buy this one. I, I mean, I didn't have to, but I did. And I loved it. Um, again, I bought things during the Black Friday sale, so I probably got to a point where I was like, do I or don't I? Yeah, I've got 30% off, so why not? Um, and then one more thing from Princess Polly, which was the more splurge item, but I think cost per wear, these will last me for a gazillion years. They are the simple Doc Martin school type shoes, the originals with the um, solid foot sole, with a very solid sole. Um, the yellow stitching, I didn't get the vegan version, I got them in the leather, sorry. Um, they're really comfortable, but I am wearing them around the house a fair bit at the moment with thick socks to try and soften up this bit here because that needs breaking in. I have narrow feet, so maybe it's less uncomfortable on me across here than it might be on other people. Um, I don't need to break that in, essentially, it's just that back bit. Uh, and a little bit on the sides because that's very stiff leather um, but I have heard that a lot of people have troubles breaking them in but yeah thick socks around the house I look so weird in some of the outfits I've been wearing <laughs> just to try and break them in Mario has laughed at me a couple times but I don't care I love them they are great this is basically the school shoe that I had when I was in high school so I'm just kind of going back in time there but I can't wait to wear these with my like trousers um, through winter time and a big oversized blazer. Um, they're just such a timeless shoe. Very cool. I was tempted to get a white pair of their combat boots as well because um, I have this kind of black pair in a soft leather, not as not as uh, sturdy as this leather, which I've had for years. So I did think about getting the white ones, but maybe I'll wait till closer to autumn. Um, yeah, just love them. And obviously it was pretty good taking advantage of the um, Black Friday sale to get those with a bit of a discount. Um, and my size kept uh, <laughs> going uh, out of stock, but I managed. And then somebody must have just not refreshed their cart or changed their mind at the last minute and I just dove in there and got them. <laughs> because I really wanted them. So I got these in a UK 6, European 39, uh, US 7, I think that says. No. Hmm. Yeah, well, anyway, UK 6. And I'm usually, I am usually a European 39. So let me take the shoes off. I'm wearing these bared shoes, which came recently as well. So again, they had... They didn't have a Black Friday sale, they had a warehouse changeover sale. Um, so I got these, which are a new pair for them. They are a beautiful soft blue suede in kind of a dusty blue. Um, braided shoe. They have the suede uh, footbed, which is also like one of the comfort ones that are molded. It's so comfortable. I'm obsessed with bed. I have so many of their shoes. I think they're just so, so good. Um, if you saw my last video, it included the black boots, which are oh, amazing. The um, up to the knee ones. So these came at the same time. Totally different seasons we're working with here in terms of styling, but I, I love them both. And I'm going to be wearing that with my white dresses. Um, and probably things like this outfit that I have on today and denim. I love pairing these with denim as well. Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> just trying to put my shoe back on. I'm looking at the time thinking I have to get going soon to the hairdressers. She's going to be styling my hair before I head to my staycation. 
tomorrow, which I'm so excited about what, while we're on this staycation, I am going to shoot um, some new uh, some new looks. None of these. Oh, I have some fun ones. Um, some new looks and some looks that are like New Year's Eve inspired um, holiday kind of things. So she's going to do my hair all nice. She's going to put a gloss on it. I've just got it blow dried at the moment, um, which yeah, that's not looking too bad. But yeah, I'm excited to get going. That's it for me for my Black Friday hauls, parts one and two. If you missed the other video, head over um, through my channel and find that one there. Now, um, thank you very much for joining me and for subscribing and for liking this video. And even that one person who always dislikes my video, it just counts towards engagement. So thanks. Um, I really appreciate every time I post that you dislike my video. And tell people to watch it basically <laughs> so thanks a lot um yeah i will be back shortly with some more bits and pieces bye